The Guru has agreed to join our team, provided we can rid his homeland of the Dingo Miners and deal with the Mask of Dark Earth. A tall order, but we're up for it. First, we'll enlist the aid of some local wildlife to help fit out the Miners' ranks. Murray will feed our bows to a local giant crocodile. With some luck, he'll take a liking to the taste of Miners and chow down on them left and right. Second, we'll hit these guys where they live, or at least relax. If we can clear them out of this lemonade bar, it'll be a crippling blow to their morale. They'll be begging to go home. And finally, Sly will use some mining equipment to drill for radioactive oil deep beneath the dried lake bed. Trust me, it's the key to getting rid of the Mask of Dark Earth. All right, let's go out as Sly. Day two. Uh, there's two missions of Sly, so we'll go on the far right over here. All right, all right. Oh, no, 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 no. You know what? We're just going to do this. Oh, that actually worked in my favor. Look at that. All right, boys. Look tough and get angry. It's time to intimidate the locals. I'm not sure I can do it. How do you guys get angry? Find the match deep inside yourself. Light it and let the fire burn up your guts and boil your blood. Uh, yeah, I pretty much do the same thing. Look, our goal is to drive away these miners and we'll do whatever it takes. Listen up, dirtbags. Time to clear out. From now on, this bar is Cooper Gang turf. Tough talk, wagga. But you ain't got no respect with us. We here are known around these parts for our drinking skills. And this just happens to be a lemonade bar. Sly, I'm not sure this is such a good idea. If a lemonade drinking challenge is what you had in mind, then the three of us will take on the best three lemonade drinkers you got. Fair hey, dinkum. Losers have to clear out. Ready, steady, go! Oh, God. <laughs> Show who's boss! Oh, Shaver wait a minute. Flavor. Keep it up, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got wait, it. I'm allergic to lemons. That can't be pleasurable. <laughs> guzzle, guzzle, guzzle. Going strong. Woohoo! Yes! Come on! Down. Come on, Bentley! Full on! Waterfall in your throat! Oh no, Bentley's the Come hardest! On, Come on, Bentley! It. Come on, Bentley! Oh, my fingers are cramping! Ow! Ow! Oh. We did it! We win! That's shaky! Why, the turtle spill more than he drank! Round here, there's only one thing we do with cheaters! Turn on the fence, Bruce! It's time we gave these cheaters a beating. Really? You're the man, Bentley. This is tense. Sly, you okay? Right as rain, pal. What? Oh, 
boy. I need help, so I need help. A fine blow indeed. Oh god. What? They just keep coming. You holding up, Murray? Feeling strong. Behold my powers of destruction. Yes. <laughs> Give it to him, pal. Dude, there's so much money everywhere, pal. Excellent hit, Murray. Come on. Well struck, Murray. I'm scared. I'm so scared. Well done. Take this. You want a friend? I'll give him to you. You want war, motherfucker? Nice work, big guy. I'll give you war. Oh, we're almost done. Look at that. It's in stuck behind the bar. Yes! The Cooper Gang rules the roost. We're the kings of the hill. The totally maxed out heavyweight champions! Those guys won't be coming back here anytime soon. Um, uh. guys, looks like they saved their big guy for last. He's wearing that freaky bad spirit mask. He must be so jacked! We should work together to take this guy down. That mask has a powerful force in it. Come on. Lead him over my bob and I'll pull the trigger. While he's dazed. I'll try to knock him out with this barrel. Yes. Well, that counts as a uh... run, run. Bob's ready. Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Ah. I'll pack and slide. So close! So close! So close! Come on! I'll send with the bomb. Get it ready! Get it ready! Barrels up! Hit him! Yes! Oh god, here he comes, here he comes! No, he wasn't close enough, shit! Blow him up! Blow his ass up! Come on, one more! Get him! Get him, Murray! Get him, Murray! Kick his ass! Yes! Finally, that guy was... The mask, it's getting away? We might have cleared out this bar, but that mask is sure to keep making trouble for us. We need to destroy it. <laughs> I like how they're all shocked by the mask. It's getting away? What?
All right, we'll go to the next slime mission immediately. All right, we are here. We made it. You ready to head out for the oil fields? Should be right through this cave. Oh, yeah. Bentley said there'd be heavy machinery and destruction going down. Sounds like your thing. Y-E-S, yeah. We're going after some radioactive oil, right? I don't know. I can never pay attention during those slideshows. Don't tell Bentley. Wouldn't dream of it. is to protect these power stations while Murray gets all six oil wells flowing. Use this Super Claw 10,000 to deal with any miners that might show up. Use the left analog stick to move the claw around. The X button will pick up and release items. Before you're spotted, why don't you pick up that rock and drop it in the pit? Oh, well, that rock? Oh! This is easy. You do seem quite adept. The other important feature on the 10,000 model is the throwing action. Just pick up an item and press the circle button to throw them. You can throw things quite a ways. Go ahead and hit that electric fence with one of those rocks. Okay. I think I've got the hang of it. Nice shot. Let's see you do it again. I can do it again. Face it, Bentley. I'm a natural. Hope you're right, because it looks like the miners are on to us. Defend the power stations by using everything and anything in the oil field. This electric fence should come in especially handy for dispatching guards. Here they come. Where? Oh. Two more to go, okay. Oh, this isn't so bad. It's not as exciting. <laughs> no, I thought it was... I don't know why I did that. I thought he was close enough for some reason. They're gonna get rid of the fence. You know, they're gonna be like, this fence is too easy. We're gonna take it off, because it's gonna get a little harder. Two down, one to go. Oh, dude, this is an easy-ass mission. What the hell? la -da! <laughs> I just... Sorry, I'm just... <laughs> picturing, like... How they feel, you know what I mean? Just, like, imagining it, like... That claw is destroying us! But keep going forward! <laughs> oh, but it's an Australian accent. Good I mate? That fucking claw is really rotten! <laughs> I don't know what... <laughs> Well, up the oh man, that a was a terrible accent. Step. You need to take Murray Sly, grab Murray, and move before the miners get ahead of you. Oh. oh! You better pick up the pace, Sly. Check out these guns! That pumping has got me pumped! Okay, I kind of get it now. That guy's toast. Oh, I missed. Oh, I didn't think Got I was gonna miss. Oh boy. You'd think this would be more intense. You know what I mean? <laughs> Man. Man, this is tiring. Just one more to go. 
Oh boy. Come on. Next oil field. You better pick up the. Okay, Sly, it's safe to let Murray go now. Oh. Let's get that oil burning. Sly, drop a flint rock on the end of that long plank. Murray, you'll then jump on the end and catapult the rock to the oil wells. The oh, sparks on impact should start a fire. Oh, God, I have to do this how many times, bro? I barely have time to do anything. Okay, there we go. Flaming gnarly death from above! Yes! Okay, there we go. I think I have a little bit of time. It broke? Come on, come on. I'm being fast. Oh, no, the pressure's really on. No! Here it comes! Two more. Two more times. The Murray creates a hurtling missile a flaming destructive death! Come on, Murray. Yes! Now, yes, we did it! Three. With the Base oil three, well all right. The pressure differential should draw the deep uranium and rich glowing oil to the surface. We'll need to be extremely careful in retrieving a small sample. Fly! Fly! Look at me! I'm glowing! Woo! Oh my god. <laughs> Do, do, do. Now to do Bentley's mission. Or, or no, Murray's. Oh my god. Run! He's gonna follow us! Run! Okay. Okay, we're almost there anyways. Alright, we've switched to Murray successfully. And now, we begin his mission. Time we subtracted a few miners from the equation. You know I don't understand that math talk. Uh, we need to, uh, uh put the smack down on these, uh, uh, bad dudes for justice. Righteous! I'm the man for the job! The guru will start luring miners to a position near this giant crocodile. Your job is to throw the thugs into the mouth of the monster. Teach him to like eating miners, huh? That's a sinister plan, Bentley. I approve. With some Wait, luck, the what? oversized <laughs> reptile will be an invaluable asset in our efforts to drive away the miners. He might even take care of our mask of dark earth problems. I've spotted it prowling near the safe house. Roger, it's feeding time. Hi, Eddie. <laughs> what? Eat. Nice! You'll need to give him a taste for both types of guards. Four kangaroos and four dingoes should do it. Take a bite of this! Remember to chew! 
Delicious miners! I wonder if they taste good. Probably not. Dinner's ready! Come Drop on. that clown in half! That's right! Miners are food! You like eating miners! Come on, oh, come on, take him, take him! Great job, Murray! Now, feed the croc one last thing. A big, tasty flashlight guard. I've located one and marked him with a waypoint. Remember, All right. you'll need to sneak up on this guy in order to grab him. <laughs> Murray, you'll need to sneak up on the biter with a flashlight in order to grab him. Oh, this guy. Can't get me, bitch. <laughs> he's gonna get eaten. He's gonna be nom noms. Here you go. Eat up. Oh my god. Take cover, Murray. Here comes a guard wearing the mask of Dark Earth. Let's see if all of your hard work with this croc pays off. <laughs> Wow, it actually worked. Tarnation, that mask keeps getting away. Since when do masks get away? For real? <laughs> Why is it running? You can feel it in the air. The miners are about to pack it in. In fact, they'd probably already be long gone if it weren't for the corrupting influence of the mask of Dark Earth. It's clear we need to destroy it. Time for Operation Moon Crash. To start things off, we'll need the Guru to take out the gyrocopter. With it gone, we'll have clear skies for Phase 2. Now, according to Aboriginal folklore, the Mask of Dark Earth is the sworn enemy of the Moon Spirit. So, given Murray's moon shape, we'll coat him in the glowing oil and have him pose as the Spirit. We'll then dangle him from the crane. The mask is sure to spot his ancient foe and come running. That's when we'll strike. Murray, thunderflop off the crane and obliterate that mask. With the mask destroyed and the miners run off, the guru will be free to join the team for the Cooper Vault job. All right, I want to buy a gadget. I want to buy a gadget. Oh, uh, combat dodge, paraglide. Paraglide would be so great right now. Let's do that. And then we will save up for more, I guess. God damn, I didn't realize how much pickpocketing I have to do. Probably do that next time. All right, we're going to do Sly. Operation Moon Crash. That's such a cool freaking name. Oh, no! I mean, you have money. Guru, I know you've yet to formally join the team, but we need your help to destroy the Mask of Dark Earth. Your objective is to take out the gyrocopter while it's refueling. Huh, I go. Glad to hear you're up to it. The bad news is the gyrocopter has a sensor that can detect your moonstone. I suspect that's how they found and trapped you earlier. Get too close and they'll detect you, then take off out of reach. For this job, you'll need to run guards toward it and then jump off early before it senses you. Ram a few guards into that thing, and it's sure to fall apart.
Okay. All right, run guards toward the gyroscope scopter and then press triangle to jump off before you get too close. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Just might as well have to learn the hard way, you know? Let's, let's go full dive in. Oh. I see. I see, I see now. I get it. What the fuck? All right, we'll go this way then. Aim that miter and then jump off with a triangle button. No. I get it now, but like shit, I push triangle too fucking fast. Or too early. Whatever. You guys get what I mean. But now I get it. Alright. Now I have to find another guard. Alright. Alright. I think if I line them up here. Go, there Guru. we go. A couple more direct hits like that. And that gyrocopter will be history. Okay. Easy peasy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, brosifs. Alright, let's, let's uh, get on this guy's back and move on and shimmy that way. Shimmy that way. Oh, I got off to freaking late. Ugh. I found my next guard. This time I'm just gonna line him up and let him go. There we go. That thing's on its last legs. Hell Grab yeah. One more guard into it and it's finished. You betcha. Look at this. There's one that spawned right near us. Finally, a guard that spawned close. Please be enough. Yes! Hoorah. Behold! The moon spirit rises! Woo! Everyone keep an eye out for the mask. It's sure to take the bait. We got a situation here, fellas. Looks like Carmelita finally managed to catch up. Drat! We can't stop the operation now. We'll just have to give her a wide berth. Roger, applying wide berth. Quit horsing around and look out for the mask. It's close. I can feel it. Here I come, Master! Did you get it? Is the mask gone? Sly, can you see? Can't tell from here. I'll move in. No way. I'd find you here. Carmelita, you've uh, got a little something on your face. It's not nice to make fun of a girl's looks. Maybe I should smash you. What? Now that's not nice. Mamana, <laughs> Mamana, she's big now. Bentley could use a little help. How about putting a few of your sleep darts in Carmelarja here? Then we'll pry off the mask. Carmelarja. Oh shit. <laughs> Don't leave this. <laughs> okay. I need her to stay still. Wow, 
I didn't realize she was shooting at me. What's wrong with me? Come on, beautiful Carmelita. Stay still for me, please. No, that little branch is in the way. Oh my god. Okay, there we hit her. Run, run, move, 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 move. Bruh, this big building's in the way. No, 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 no. Where's she going? Oh, dude, I feel bad for Sly, but also he's so lucky. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Finally, the darts are starting to kick in. Or not. The chemicals in my darts must somehow be interacting with the mask to make her even bigger. Whoa, you're not kidding, Bentley. She's getting gigantic. Everyone head for the big truck. We've got to get some distance between her and us. She might shrink back down with time. How big is she? Oh my god, Hamada <laughs> It's Karmazilla! <laughs> oh my god! This is bad! Looks like she picked up a ring full of dynamite! Oh, oh no. Power to the onboard Super Claw 10,000. Use it to keep any explosives off our truck. Maybe you can throw them back at her? Might slow her down? Come on. Insects! Oh, she doesn't sound very hot right now, not gonna lie. Come on, come on, pick it up. Don't say that. Oh no. Yes! Are you kidding me? She's too huge! We can't outrun her in the truck! How are we doing that? This is bad! We need a new strategy, and fast! Force just isn't working! Time to stop running and deal with the real problem. Pry off that mask of Dark Earth, and maybe we'll get back the Carmelita we all know and love. I do not love her! Okay, not the point. It's all about taking off that mask. We gotta find a way up there. You're the climber, and I'm sure you've always wanted to get closer to her. Can't get much closer than climbing up her boot laces. That's not a crazy idea. Oh yeah, it's crazy! You got a better idea? Yeah, but we'd need a giant... Fighting robot! Sorry, I'm gonna have to go with the bootlace plan. Watch out! Carmelita's troops are en route! Ah, you're in luck! Looks like each side of the mask is latched on with only one hook! Maybe if you hug off it, she'd swat you away and knock it off! Oh no. She's not making this easy. Great work, Sly. One hook to go with the mask is off. No. No. <laughs> Oh, 
Come on. Yes. We got it off. No more Carmazilla. <laughs> Yes! Carmelita just lay there, unconscious, helpless on the desert floor. Being gentlemen, we kept watch over her throughout the night. Her camera proved to be a real source of entertainment as we took turns posing. Didn't want her to go home empty-handed. <laughs> Morning broke, and we got a clear view of the landscape. It was beautiful, empty of the miners that had been digging and drilling into the sacred place. The moment was broken as Carmelita began to stir, and we prepared for another quick exit. Only this time, it wasn't just the three of us. For the first time in Cooper gang history, we picked up a new member, and the team would never be the same. Bentley was obsessed. Every night, he'd pour over the blueprints to Dr. M's fortress, looking for a way to get into the Cooper vault. He soon came to the conclusion that there was no way inside unless the gang picked up a dedicated RC specialist, an expert who had mechanical and piloting skills far exceeding his own. After weeks of searching techie chat rooms, he finally found someone who could keep up with him intellectually. A gearhead genius out of Holland named Penelope. She politely declined our invitation to join the team, saying she only works for the best. Apparently, her idea of the best was her boss the Black Baron, a big-time dogfighting champ up there in Holland. He's so good that he's even set up an international competition called Aces to attract worthy opponents. A few days later, she sent us a counteroffer. If our gang could manage to beat the Black Baron at his own game, then she'd know we weren't just a pack of jokers and therefore, worth her time. So, we got busy. With no time to lose, Bentley and Murray worked to put a plane together, while I got my pilot license the fastest way possible. We'd prove to this Penelope that the Cooper gang was up for the challenge, even if we were making it all up as we went along. Kinderjack Holland. Oh man. She's here already?
All right, people, I just want to leave off this episode. I know it sucks. It always does. I can feel it within you. I can feel your distaste for me ending it this way. <laughs> just kidding. No. Uh, tell me if you guys have been enjoying the new format for this uh, Let's Play. It's not going to stay like this for a long time. I just want to, you know, have newcomers enjoy it and stuff like that until I start. If you guys give me negative feedback on it, I will uh, change it back to how it was before. Long 40 minutes to an hour long. The reason why it's only going to be two missions at a time was well, I just explained. <laughs> it's because I want newcomers to get used to it. 20 minutes or, you know, a little less time. Plus, my friends complaining about how long my videos are. Um, but Zelda's still going to remain an hour long at most. Other videos as well. Uh, um, let me know if you guys are liking it. You know, I just, I, I'm sorry. I keep talking about it like this. But, you know, I really, really want you guys to like it and everything like that. And, uh, yeah, right after Sly 3, we're going straight into Sly 4. Then from Sly 4, after we're done all of Sly, we're going to go straight into God of War. Uh, I've acquired most of the games, I think. Think. took me a while to get them uh especially the newest one the new i know the newest one has problems like on the pc side so yeah <laughs> i can't wait to start god of war with you guys after sly i i really hope this gets a remaster you know what i mean i hope all these games get bundled for a remaster or a pc port it would be amazing but if they get an unofficial pc port like how jack did uh i know jack and daxter yeah, i got some unofficial pc port which you guys see me play anyways i'm gonna stop talking and stop taking much of your time now and with that bye bye Hey, smiley, have a great day. Be snuggly, do everything you want to do. Tell me your favorite Sly game of all time. Give me all the reasons you can. So, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.